guess what I found at the thrift store today? Why would you even buy that? I rescued her. It's a style of furniture that nobody even wants or uses anymore. When I found her at the thrift store, she had a garage sale tag on her. But it's a beautiful piece of wood furniture. And that's why I bought her, because I can see the potential in her. I can just imagine upscale, farmhouse. Oh, I think she's going to be beautiful. Why would you paint it? With a few innovative and artful design ideas, I'm saving this baby. In this video, I'm going to take a dark and unwanted china cabinet and give it a modern farmhouse look. Stay tuned, because I've got lots of tips. Somebody had her at a garage sale, nobody bought her, and so they donated her to the thrift store. And the day that I was there, she was 25% off. Marked down yet again. So I literally saved her from being donated to the garbage heap. This piece of furniture is made out of some beautiful, beautiful wood. Why would you paint it? But the wood is so dark. Nobody wants to have it in their house anymore. But it's a beautiful piece of wood furniture. I know it's a beautiful piece of furniture, and I bet it was a true gem in its day, but now the color of it is so dark, you can't see anything inside of it, and nobody wanted it. Why would you even buy that? My innovative and artful design ideas are going to give it just what it needs so it can have a second life. Now I'm going to create a modern farmhouse look to this piece by pairing sleek and contemporary black with some layers of warm whites, a little bit of gray, and perhaps a hint of natural woods just like you see here. Before we can really start emphasizing some of those yummy architectural details, the devil is in the details. Truly, we've got to get in there, we've got to remove the hardware, and we've got to give the piece a really good cleaning. And pro tip, start at the top, quite literally. No matter how tall your piece is, put one coat of paint on the top at least. You never know where it might be staged in a home, so it's always good to have it look good from all angles. Now to give this beautiful piece that really modern farmhousey type look that we're going for, I am emphasizing all of its beautiful details by using a black paint called Iron Gate and it's made by Heirloom Traditions. All right, I've got that first coat of paint on. It's so beautiful. Mm. And this is a value of a, using a good quality paint, that Heirloom Traditions paint that I mentioned and then this particular color is called Iron Gate, it's a black it's beautiful and we've only got the first coat on it's made a huge difference already in the look of the piece so I'm really happy so far I'm gonna go ahead and remove the back of this piece most pieces of furniture like this have a back that you can easily remove I, I want I don't want to say easily because it does take a little bit of work to get in there and get the nails out but I'm gonna remove the back of it and start working on the inside and I honestly don't have a formal plan for the inside yet I have some ideas but I'm gonna have to put them all together and see if they work and if they don't I may be tweaking a little bit but that's kind of the beauty of the design work that we do I'm hoping fingers crossed that with the next couple of steps that I do I'm gonna be able to give it really that sort of innovative artful funky farmhouse uh, feel that I'm hoping to go for so stay tuned here we go I've chosen to use the grain sack stripe to help build on this farmhouse feel that we're going for in this piece. So I've sort of artfully chosen a rather unexpected wallpaper to put on the back of this piece. It's a grain stripe wallpaper in a creamy white and gray, and it really gives this piece a unique nod to sort of the vintage farmhouse style. Worst fears were realized. The stain from that mahogany finish started seeping through my wallpaper. But I am not giving up that easy. I went out and bought some bin primer sealer. I removed the wallpaper, sprayed the back so I had some good coverage, and then I went to round two of applying the wallpaper to the backdrop. Now remember that gothic fretwork in the door of the china cabinet? In order to really give this a farmhouse style, that gothic fretwork is going to have to go. I was terrified to try and remove this piece because I didn't want to break the glass, but with a flat paint scraper and just taking my time, I was able to remove it in one piece and you can see what a huge difference it makes in the style of the piece. 
Now this is the step that really transforms this piece. I take some creamy white colors and layer them on the inside and it lightens it all up and it gives it a real country clean farmhouse feel. But before I laid any of the paint down, I wanted to make sure that we were going to avoid that whole bleed through issue again. So I went ahead and purchased a Rust-Oleum product. Uh, it's in a matte finish in a pretty French cream color. And I went ahead and sprayed the whole surface a couple of times and let it dry before I applied these yummy layers of creamy white paint. But sure as shooting, that bleed through came back. So I grabbed the big guns. I grabbed some Zinzer spray shellac. I sprayed the whole thing twice on the inside and let it dry completely before I went ahead and approached it with this creamy white paint. The Rust Oleum paint was a little bit yellow for the wallpaper, so that paint mixture that you saw is a combination of cashmere and whitewash by Heirloom Traditions. And you can see it goes on almost like a glaze. I apply it rub it in and it just lightens up that yellow just a bit to make a closer match to our wallpaper. I sanded on the shelves with a fine grit sandpaper and then I went with a detail brush and I gave a second coat of paint to those areas of black that had a little bit of overspray. I applied a second coat of that yummy iron gate paint to the whole exterior of the piece and then I cleaned up all the glass on the interior of the exterior using a razor. I wasn't initially planning on doing anything with the hardware, but I felt like it really needed something that's kind of lackluster. So I decided to paint them a kind of a coppery color, and I feel like the copper sort of pulls in what would be sort of a warm wood tone that's missing in this piece. I think it turned out to be the perfect choice. drive those nails in, I think we're doing good. So you can see that copper color is really pretty there. It's kind of understated, which I really like. It's not screaming at you like a bright silver might do on a piece like this. And it actually ties in with some of the other touches that I have in my house, like the flooring. So I think it's kind of nice. I think it's gonna work out pretty well. And there you have it. It's a modern farmhouse, china cabinet makeover, sort of H2 home design style. It's such a vibrant, fresh, and unique piece of furniture now. It can be decorated masculine, it can be decorated feminine. It pairs well with traditional, it pairs well with industrial, and you can play up or play down the whole modern farmhouse, traditional farmhouse look, depending on what you add to it. Unattractive, unwanted, and impossible? <laughs> Not today. So why would I buy this piece? because I've got some innovative and artful design ideas that can turn a castaway into a true gem. A light colored wallpaper in the backdrop, a light paint on the shelves, and the removal of that gothic, uh, what do you call it? It was a gothic um, fret, fret. This piece that was a piece that nobody would want and it's a style that nobody uses anymore. Hmm, I don't know, I think it's turned into something that's quite beautiful. It's got a really nice sort of modern funky farmhouse look to it. And it's light, it's bright, it's airy. You can see everything that's in it. I think it's turned out wonderfully and I have a feeling it's probably gonna get put to some good use. Now I just love the H2 Home Designs community. If you've got some innovative and artful design ideas that you'd like me to try, just go ahead and put a note in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And thank you so much for joining me today. And as always, if it's up to you, be the reason that someone smiles today. And don't forget to subscribe to H2 Home Designs on YouTube. And with just a few thoughtful design alterizations, alterations. <laughs> and with, and with just a few design al, and with just a few thoughtful design alterations. And with just a few thought, and with just a few thoughtful design alterizations, like alterations. And with just a few thoughtful design alterizations, like alterations. And with, and with just a few.
with just a few thoughtful design alterization alterations. <laughs>